Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, I mean to have my back because I have yours. We are going to pull from the hidden secret, the heart's hidden secrets, which is second chances, come out, reconciliation, make amends, and opportunities. We also have um, intuition. You are not trusting your intuition when it comes to somebody wanting a second chance. That's the reason why it needs clarification. Your inner knowing, your everything is blocked in this situation, and there's an apology. Somebody is longing for you. This could be the energy of a person that you've been dealing with. Bottom of the deck, a soulmate, somebody who you considered a soulmate at some point, but your intuition or their intuition is blocked when it comes to um, you or you accepting second chance. They want to apologize because they are longing for your touch. Um, so there you have it. Talking to the moon. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, this is. They don't want the ending. It says funeral, and it's in the reverse, so they don't want an ending. So they're wanting to have a second chance when it comes to dealing with you or a situation um, that you guys once shared. But, again, uh, you have to be able to be the one to make uh, amends with this situation. This person was a Jazzerville. Um, did they have bad credit? They're unemployed, the debt. So they had a funny way of doing things for some change, you know, and so – that's the reason why they know that um, you are not going to um, look at this situation um, a little bit. Look, look at this. They know that you're not going to look at the situation um, and um, without hesitation. And so they're blocked. They can't feel you anymore. You have cut their en cut their energy off. So there's shocking news coming uh, that you might have said that they were too late. Um, you blocked them. And um, they're upset over you or they're, it says, effed up over you because you blocked them. So when they try to reach out, you block this energy and you're just, you know, it's based upon the consequences of their actions. So I'm going to pull this, uh, the show me deck to see what it is that you're looking for the universe to show you. They may love you. They may be deep in love with you. But at some point, you know, they, they messed up. And so, therefore, they're wanting to return. Show me my reflections and my focus. And then it, let me see, my soul's true path. So um, the reason why I say that is because this card was turned over with that one, and it says how to connect. So this is the universe. Um, uh, path influences my self-focus and uh, my soul's true path. So I think this is their energy. This is all their energy here. So they're asking the universe to help them. Uh, to connect back with you if you can hear that in the background I am actually listening to um, a lawyer um, and um, well I'm not not really listening to it but it's listening to me but basically yeah um so past influences they're trying to figure out what it is that they've done wrong in the past um, they could have caused you to be in debt they could have caused you uh, to lose your job they could have caused certain things but they want a second chance, the emotions here. So I guess this is your person's energy. I don't necessarily, or this could be yours, discouraged. Yeah, this came out of my last read. They're discouraged and also envious. They're not envious of you anymore. They were at some point uh, possessive and very suspicious of you, but now they're willing to trust you because they realize, again, second time, that they loved you and that they messed up. And so that's um, basically what it is. We're going to go ahead and pull tarot. What tarot deck I want to pull? Um, first of all, let's pull from the breakup oracle. But um, the tarot deck that I want to pull from is a relationship deck. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause it in a minute to try to find it because it's somewhere here. And I don't know where it's at. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to pull from the breakup oracle to see what it is that they have going on because apparently you separated your energy from them because they messed up and not only did you separate it they blocked their cause and they that's the news that they're receiving and they feel like it's too late um again and they're so they're asking basically going through a dark night of the soul what it is that they can do to make things better with you um yeah uh self-pleasure 
So uh, all in my head. So it says, your love has captured me. Where, everywhere I look, I see your face. I moved on. Yeah, it says, I'm letting you go now so that we both can move on. So, um, yeah, um, they let you go thinking that, they, that you would always be there. And now you're all in their head. Um, and self-pleasure, it says, I pleasure myself to your pictures I have secretly saved on my phone. So they're longing for you. And so now they're trying to uh, get you out of their head. Um, get you out of my head. It, it's a song. I don't know what the song is. But anyway, they're trying to connect to you through in the 5D in order to pull your energy back towards them. But you aren't falling for it. I don't think it's true. So you and me are through there you have it um so there you have it your approach to certain situations is a little bit different than it was before i'm gonna go ahead and find this card deck and try to send it uh and try to use it if i can if not i'll just use regular tarot but again um this is a situation to where you have um done everything and uh that you could and basically they have to realize that you know what no I'm going to go ahead and pull from this deck, which is right here. Um, I think I should follow my first mind. Maybe I'll use it for you if I think, if I really can think about where it's at. It's somewhere behind me. But anyway, I think I see it right there. So let's see where their energy is and see what happened in, in regards to this situation. Um, I don't remember the name of this tarot deck, but um, it's like a dragon type tarot deck. We have the judgment energy, the realization. They had realized that, you know, yeah, Nine of Cups energy. They've been dreaming about having their cake and eating it too and everything. But at the same point, don't look at my nails. My my niece is on uh, maternity leave. So, um, yeah, there you have it. Their realization is, is that they want uh, the Nine of Wands, uh, excuse me, the Nine of Cups energy, which is basically um, having their wishes fulfilled. And you are a part of that. And so they're wishing, I'm wishing on a star. Y'all know I can't sing, but... They're wishing that you could um, basically um, come back into their energy. And so, you know, this is them, you know, understanding that, you know, they always are used to having their cake and eating it too. But the realization is that, yeah, they weren't grateful for your energy, Three of Cups energy. They weren't grateful and they didn't, um, um, they didn't want to come together and, uh, collaborate with you at one point and so the realization is is that they have to reflect that yeah uh, ten of wands energy they were the burden and they were the reason why uh yeah that is basically what i see that's coming out you know they were the burden let's clarify the nine of cups energy clarifying the nine of cups comes out with the seven of wands yeah there's conflict and you're very defensive in this situation so the judgment energy we're going to clarify judgment energy comes out with the emperor energy so yeah they would do anything for stability um and uh basically control um of you of you and of a situation and so the emperor energy is that you know they basically uh had to respect you and um they didn't do that basically in so many words but you have to understand that this is why they are able to have structure some type of structure without having a job because that's why people kind of fall in line with them is because they say this is how i'm used to having things or whatever three of cups energy let's clarify the three of cups yeah i just i just believe that again it was there yeah three of cups energy comes with yeah six of pentacles is here um they were cocky and com uh so their strength energy here, this is uh, strength had to have to happen in order for them to, um, they have to recognize what it is that it, that they did wrong, you know, and um, a part of it is not believing in a situation and not believing, believing that you were strong enough to wield uh, the sword with them. Does that make sense? So if you have the queen, if you have the queen of swords here with the emperor, these are two tough cookies. These are somebody with stability. This is somebody that is able to lead an army and a pack, but they didn't think that you were able to do that because you were so prim and, pr and proper and always willing to give your last to certain situations, people, places, and things. And so now they're grateful for you 
even though you moved your, excuse me, I hit my bracelet, sorry, on my uh, microphone, even though you moved your energy and they're realizing the burdens, Ten of Wands energy, they're realizing the burdens that, uh, yeah, that's how it comes out. Bottom of the deck, four cups, yeah, you're disconnected from the situation and they are too because they knew that they could have did more when it came to this situation. And so they're contemplating how to uh, move forward when it comes to an apology. And so, uh, yeah, they're, they're sad. So to clarify, the Ten of Wands energy comes out with the Two of Pentacles. They have to make a decision. There has to be some type of balance here within uh, themselves in order for them to be able to move forward towards you. Page of Cups energy, you're basically doing everything that you need to do. But the Page of Cups is that they have to basically understand what it's like to be sensitive and to be a dreamer just like you and we have the knight of wands energy um the drake energy um you only live once be bold be fearless do what you love and what what they love is you so the knight of pentacles is gonna have them show up and do the work but are you willing to accept them um as they are right now even though you know that um they wanted to move on that uh this was your soulmate you love them and the universe is saying how to connect they want to know how to connect with you so it's all in your court i'm going to get the card deck right here really fast and let's see if i can grab oh yeah i can grab it from right here so the card deck here it's in the reverse let me turn it up this is the modern love i think it's called modern love tarot i think it's modern love tarot so this is your energy now let's see what you felt in regards to this situation because you know, at some point you had to walk away, it seems like, or they tried to walk away thinking that they could do it. Yeah, three of wands. So the three of wands energy is you looking ahead and growing. You had to grow and walk away uh, because they, again, uh, said that the, you guys would be better off as friends. And when it comes to uh, nine of pentacles, you're like, okay, fine. Nine of Pentacles, it took you nine years to be able to have your cake and eat it too. And the Six of Wands is because you're you're successful. Once you looked at a different vision or whatever, you realize that the seeds that you planted uh, in the past was going to uh, lead you to having your cake and eat it too, just as consequences of your actions, of, of their actions. Um, but this is just this energy about you doing the right thing. So you did the right thing for them, for yourselves. And now here it is, they want to come back and uh, disturb your peace that's basically how i see it because you've done everything that you could when it comes to this situation so i'm going to pull from the twin flame karmic and soulmate uh, deck uh, to see what comes out but you are basically um, doing everything that you wanted to do you're going after your dreams you planted seeds now nine of pentacles you're starting to see the seeds grow and now here it is they want to come back yeah because you are a safe space that came out in my last read um you are a safe space for them and um yeah here it is arguments yeah there was too many arguments too many ne too much negativity in in this situation and so therefore you were like if it's going to be somebody that i spend the rest of my life with i'm not going to be arguing and feeling like i can't be safe around them but they can be safe around you so again you block that energy and you move forward and it's up to you basically if you want to forgive them yeah rejected and wounded um, yeah, you felt rejected and wounded and hesitation. Their hesitation is causing inaction due to fears of rejection because of their previous behavior, or it may be they fully don't trust the connection. And so this came out in my last read, this actual card, and I, I want to say uh, this was at the bottom of the deck. Um, no, it wasn't at the bottom of the deck, but anyway, a safe space. It says your twin... Um, will feel safer being friends first before getting intimate learning to enjoy the present moment and discover your playful side so this could be your energy of how you feel but the arguments are here it says you're constantly fighting and it feels like they are never they are never ending repeating these patterns mean that you have not learned the karmic lesson and so um this is something that they have to really take into consideration and rejection and wounds they have rejection fears of wound and or wounds that are so great they're not ready and willing or able to face them t right now reasons the union fails to flourish and so this is things that they have to do in order to move forward because you're at peace with everything that you're doing you're going after your dreams you planted seeds things are starting to come to fruition and basically they have to be able to 
make things happen. I'm going to pull from the DM confessions. Um, this could be divine masculine or somebody with heavy uh, masculine energy in their chart. But again, you have to decide what it is that you want to do because they have all their cards on the table. And um, yeah, that's kind of how I see it. They have their cards on the table and you're the one. I, I've screamed and had fits of rage over our connection. They don't realize why you are able to, um, how, how you how you have control over them. So they scream and rage trying to figure out why does cancer have this con this con this uh, grasp on me. I love that you can see my truth, but it scares the shit out of me too. So that's basically it. It's their fears. It says that here why they moved on, and it also says somewhere around here about the fears. Oh, hesitation. It says you're the most beautiful soul I've ever known. It blows my mind. You could you could love me. So um, again, they realize that they fucked up and you're all in their head or whatever. And they want to apologize to you. But oops, my sorry about that. My uh, I hit my what is it called? I have my camera set up just right. Don't worry, I got shorts on. You didn't see nothing. But I have my camera set up just right, and all of the cards fell over of the What's the Tea deck, so I'll use the majority that's left. What do I see? I see Bankrupt. I see Karmic Friends. I see Wolf and Sheep Clothing. I see Obsessive Lover uh, that's turned over, and that's it. So I'll use this. I was just about to grab this. That's what I was trying to do is grab this. In, uh, yeah, dust it off. So dust it off. The universe is saying dust it off and too busy winning. Yeah, they know that you're too busy winning to dust off any type of energy when it comes to this person. So they're going to have to figure out, ask in the 5D, what can I do in order to get back to into your good graces? And only time will tell. And I say that because the time card is right here. But I'm going to go ahead and pull a card for you. So again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If this isn't for you, it's not for you. But it seems like it's for the person that you've been dealing with and um yeah there you have it um let me go ahead and but that's normally how it happens when you decide to move forward good girl you power it says the ability to suck it up is not a superpower saying no is is own it, it saying no is own your power so that is what you had to do was to learn to say no to certain situations so again um you have to be able to re take take what resonates and leave what doesn't because there's growth, shine, and success. The growth says evolution starts when you leave your comfort zone. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And that's what you had to do. You had to find a direction. And then the shine energy is here. It says don't dim your light. The world needs you. Uh, excuse me. Don't dim your light. The world needs your unique talents and gifts. Shine brightly. And so it's telling you to shine, to continuously shine, no matter what situation you're going through. And the success is here. Again, like I said, you're going to be successful because you planted the seeds. This is a seed that you really wanted to plant. So when I say listen to the um, um, game of life and how to play it, when they say God bless the, the cap, wherever he is, that's showing true unconditional love. No matter what they're doing, you are still sending strength and healing their way, basically. It says today is a really good day. You're in the flow. Problem. You're in the flow. Problems are solved quickly and easily. Helpful people show up for you. And unexpected gifts fall into your lap. This is you knowing and understanding that your success comes from the universe. It doesn't come from a person. Um, it comes from you manifesting uh, a difference and planting seeds. And that's you learning how to manifest to see the things that you want. Um, the law of activation or the, uh, the law of attraction, however you want to call it. But it's the game of life and how to play it in my book. That's the reason why I love that book. Because it shows you how to rethink a certain way and to rethink your saying so. That could be a good thing for you. It is a good thing for you. Um, I want to pull one more card uh, to see what comes out. Hold on. This is from the evolution of the soul. Um, I want to pull that, and then we're going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements in the crystal deck. Um, I believe I am giving you a full-on read within the 20-minute period um, or a little bit over. So I hope you guys like this reading. Uh, again, timeless reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Newborn, Draconia, 
and newborn soul draconia and community yeah i told you find the people who complete you a criminal mind so if you keep going with certain energies this is what your mind will start to think of test it to conquer your demons help helping criminals change right bad credit things like that prison jail time and illegal activity so Sometimes you have to really figure out what your, your soul's true path is. And if this is a situation, you need to learn how to get out of a certain situation in order to better yourself. Um, and I say that as I talked in my last read about the young, the YSL trial, because um, this is somebody who grew and tried to bring people with them who had no intentions of growing. They just wanted the help in hand. That's what it kind of seems like to me. But the community, making a community, community, making a community contribution, standing up for the rights of others, and deeply caring for social issues. So again, you have to go around people who complete you and not deplete you. The draconian is here. Money hungry and manipulative, adept at fitting in like a chameleon, and can't unite people to work. Can unite people to work together. That's what you normally do. But at some point, you have to go to where you're needed in life in order to be successful because you can't keep being around certain types of individuals and that's where you have the newborn soul novice of physical existence lessons basic life skills survival flesh traits untamed childlike unrefined and so that is what you need to understand this childlike behavior wants to come back around and have a second chance with you but you have to realize that you're successful no matter what you do and uh, again, today is a really good day. You're in the flow. Problems are solved quickly and easily. Helpful people show up for you. And that's the difference. Helpful people show up for you. You're not showing up for people who are um, just basically pulling your energy away. Um, An unexpected gift falls into your lap. So is this the gift that you've been waiting for? Or are you recognizing your superpowers? This has to do with your other person. But we always have to bring it back to you to see what you learn from this situation. Because remember, no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or a situation was here to teach you a lesson. And this lesson was here to teach you to take your power back. Hmm. So, let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys